More from the World Health Organization's Global TB Symposium, we find out about TB in children and why it's been so hard to diagnose and treat. Now, we're in 2015. How big of a problem is childhood TB globally? Globally, WHO estimates there are one million children developing TB every year. And that is about 10% of the total TB burden of 9.6 million. Now, it's not evenly distributed among countries. There are countries that we call so-called high burden countries, uh, like South Africa or Kenya, uh, Uganda, Ethiopia, where this proportion of children with TB may be higher and we estimate it to be about 15 to 20 percent in some countries. Why is it so hard to diagnose TB in children? It is hard because of the nature of the TB in children. This is a post-bacillary disease. It means that they have very few bacilli in their saliva in the sputum and the tests that are available are not sensitive enough to pick them up. So it may be misdiagnosed as pneumonia or may be missed completely, especially when the symptoms are very discreet. Now, from my understanding, it's not only the, the diagnosis that's problematic, it's also the treatment. Why is treating a child who's been infected with TB different than treating an adult? The treatment theoretically is the same. It's the same treatment regimen. But for a child, one needs child-friendly medicines. The medicines that will not be bitter or sour, the medicines that they will be able to drink with a liquid, so that's uh, a challenge which now we hopefully will overcome with this new tablet. Well, there you go. You have the tablet in your hand there. And this is actually a new tablet that the World Health Organization has introduced. Why is this, let's just say, revolutionary to treating TB in children? It is revo revolutionary because it's in this one little tablet, there are three drugs to treat TB. And depending on the um, weight of the child, you either put one tablet or two or three, but you drop it in a little bit of water and it dissolves. It creates an, a syrup that you can give on a teaspoon or sometimes you can just put it in the syringe and push the syringe directly into the mouth of the child. But revolutionary is this that it does disperse. The revolutionary is that it has a proper dose and then it tastes nice. Mm. It doesn't have a bitter taste, it doesn't have a sour taste, so the child can drink it uh, even with a, with a meal to, uh, instead of uh, any other drink. So that's, that's something that we didn't have before.